This pandemic threw up many challenges for the medical professional. Firstly, we were dealing with a disease about which we did not have any data or knowledge. And so there was immense learning through the several months that we've had the pandemic and that has been a significant point. We also had to ensure safety of the healthcare professional, both doctors and nurses, as well as the patients walking into the hospital. This was a challenge. The use of protective equipment was not common in medical science and we had to quickly prepare ourselves with the various protocols to ensure this. In the treatment of patients, we had to have protocols set up, modified and changed in rapid succession as more and more knowledge about the disease evolved over the months from various global and Indian resources. We had to handle the mental stress of the doctors and nurses because of the additional work and the fear of the coronavirus, which is indeed substantially troublesome to people. And we have also had to manage beds, medical infrastructure, a challenge that we had never faced to this extent before. And particularly with regard to not just the medical part, but managing the infrastructure. For example, we had to ensure that air conditioning and air movement within the hospital was such that it never mixed up between COVID and non-COVID patients. We also had to reassure our patients about the safety of coming into hospitals. The learnings of this pandemic have really come from the challenges. What we learned most was the fact that the Indian mind can quickly adapt and come up with solutions and that indeed was the most useful and important. We also learned that we had to manage with a lot of challenges in terms of medical equipment and that too was indeed something that we learned very quickly. The new normal of the three important aspects of hand wash, physical distancing and masking is of course what we have to practice. While it has been clear as to what needs to be done, one of the problems that we have faced is implementation in surroundings that are not within the hospital. We would be interacting with various people. Even if a physician and others want to practice social distancing, it is a two-way traffic. And what is clear is that a greater emphasis has to happen on this from various people, statutory and others, because this is the only way we can prevent ourselves from getting into more trouble from the coronavirus. Thank you.